Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Yoruba Nollywood actress Ayani Mufe only be you, otherwise known as Aulas, has announced the arrival of her first baby boy who came just after so many difficulties, still bets, miscarriages, and all other related problems. The mother of two lamented her pains and struggles while waiting to have their own baby. Speaking about a trial with her husband, Aulat reviews that she had a stillbirth and also suffered one miscarriage and nearly lost a bundle of joy because of a fibroid issue. Aulat further reviews that she went through the nine months journey in pains because she had a complication which was caused by fibroid and was mostly in bed to rest. She further spoke about her colleagues who were very angry at her without understanding her pains and struggles, stating that she tried reaching out to a few people who eventually snubbed her. However, she rejoiced having her son King praise with her. On her official Instagram page, she wrote, I survived labor room. One stillbirth, one miscarriage. God decided to put a big smile on my face. This is how it all started. After so many things my husband and I have been through, sleepless nights, hospital appointments and all, Last December, we just decided to leave everything into God's hands, and boom, in January, God answered our silent prayers. January, everything was fine. I was so happy. February, I went to London. We were already planning on how I was going to give birth in the US, and a few days after my stay in London, I told my husband, I'm having some pains I can't even explain. We were both worried, and in my mind, I was thinking about something else. Only thing I was thinking about was begging God for safe and sound delivery because I've really suffered and been through a whole lot. So in Nigeria, I went for my first scan and doctor said I have fibroid and it's possible it affects the baby. That was the genesis of the old pains. Did some tests and they placed me on medication. I cried my eyes out because after all the stress that I've been through, I did a whole body test and the fibroid didn't show up. So why now God? Four months into pregnancy stage to have serious pains and I was rushed to the hospital yet again. I thought it was all over. At this point, the pains were unbearable for me, but God still showed up for me as his favorite child. Two doctors attended to me and I was told not to sleep on my left side as the fibroid is threatening the baby. If you have fibroid with pregnancy, you will understand what I'm talking about. The pain was severe. I hardly slept couldn't sit or stand for too long. I went through hell, but in all, I kept praising God because I know if I can make it to the fifth month, then you are with me. A lot of people were angry with me, mostly some of my colleagues. You all don't have the idea of the pains I was going through. I was fighting for my dear life. I managed to reach out to a few people that I was sick, but I was being ignored. This really broke my heart because I was in pains and these people were acting up. On shy baby's dedication, I was at the hospital receiving treatment just to subside the pains I was going through. I want to use this opportunity to thank God, Eledami, and husband, Okomi, Naman Yubi, my kid sis at Best Weeks and Skincare, my beloved daughter at Mimi for Joy One, for their unconditional love and absolute support throughout this journey, from one pain to another. Today, fibroid pain, tomorrow, swollen legs, next tomorrow, I can't breathe properly. Another day, headache and palm swollen. But God didn't leave me for me. God, the game changer, who stood by me throughout the nine months journey. My family and few friends that showed me nothing but pure love. God bless you all. Welcome to the world at King Praise O2. Well guys, that was the lengthy caption she had used to celebrate giving birth to a newborn baby despite different ups and downs. However, the actress welcoming a bundle of joy was months after she tied the knot with a lover. Lots of congratulations poured out for her after she tied the knot with a lover at the court's registry. The actress was the one who took to our official Instagram page to announce this very good news then as she shared videos from the registry. The actress and her fiancé got wedded at Ikoye Court Registry located in Lagos State, Nigeria. And while sharing clips from this very beautiful moment, Aulat stated that their love isn't for everybody. According to her, people do not need to understand as it is them and them alone. She wrote via our official Instagram page saying, Our love isn't for everybody. They don't need to understand. It's us and us alone. I chose us. Shortly after our registry post, our colleagues flooded our comment section with different prayers and congratulatory messages for the couple. Actress Debbie Shukoya wrote, Congratulations, sis. Olayinka Solomon also wrote, Wow, may Allah bless the union. 
Femi Adebayo also took to our comment section to write, congratulations. Kemi Kourode also wrote, congratulations darling. Biola Bayo also wrote, congratulations sis. May God bless your new home. Well, the actress who opened up on the snob she had received from some of her colleagues also talked about how she was absent at Shei Shai's twin dedication party. She also noted how she was on medial observation at the hospital while being pregnant due to the fibroid she had. How has happened to share a very close relationship with Adini Johnson and his wife, but was absent at the naming ceremony of their child. Because shortly after our last received lots of congratulations from her fans, she personally took to our official Instagram page to praise Adani Agency for supporting her as a brother always would, stating his unconditional love is very priceless. She wrote, I'm super lucky to have you as a brother, a brother like no other. You are a rare species, a brother who never judges me. Your unconditional love is priceless. Thanks for always being there at Adani Johnson. P.S. Guys, kindly help me to appreciate him and his wife at I underscore am underscore shy. Well, reacting to this appreciation, Adani Johnson and his wife, she Edwin, responded with lovely emojis wishing the actress happiness in the new home. Meanwhile, just weeks before the actress's wedding, she penned a very emotional message to her husband ahead of his birthday celebration. The actress took to her official Instagram handle to share photos of herself and her husband with a very emotional message that expresses her love and appreciation for his support for her. She wrote on her official Instagram page where she said, To the man I married with love in my heart, to my husband of many years, I'm the luckiest woman to have you beside me, the only one who accepts my craziness the main love of my life, my support system, the man I'm lucky enough to call my best friend. Thanks for trying to bring peace in chaotic situations. Thanks for all the patience. I know you're trying your best and I love you in advance to my husband. Meanwhile, before the mother of two tied the knot with a lover, the actress stirred multiple reactions when she got herself a multi-millionaire SUV to Utah Venza. And the reason she got many talking was because of the fact that she purchased the car during the COVID-19 pandemic. Aulat also recounted how she purchased the dream car with fate. She recalled the process of getting the car with the help of a colleague. While sharing this great testimony then, she wrote via her official Instagram page where she said, at the beginning of 2020, I asked my daughter what she wanted for her birthday and the princess made a very huge request, Toyota Venza. But meanwhile, it has always been my dream car. I didn't have the money for it at that time, but with faith, I said I would get it. So I spoke with Jesus and they linked me up with at syllabus underscore autos. I asked for the price of the 2010 model, but at syllabus underscore autos convinced me to get the 2012 model that I would really love it. I was like, boss, I don't have 5.5 million euros to get it and it was like, I can work something out for you at a very cheap and affordable amount. So we swung into action and started sending the money instrumentally with the promise that I would get the car June ending so I can use it to surprise my Mimi. But there was a delay as a result of no space for clearing at the port. I was so pissed and frustrated. I abused syllabus autos and even at Jesus underscore official himself wasn't spared. But finally, I got the car delivered to my doorsteps. Very clean and neat. Shout out to you, bossman at syllabus underscore autos. Now, man, you be. And to you, Jesus, me. I really appreciate your love, darling. My baby Mimi, our Jeep is here. So guys, reacting to the actress's good news were her colleagues who congratulated her. So back to the bundle of joy the actress had just welcomed with her lover, she noted how the journey has been a very rough one, but she thanked God for her life and the baby. So guys, that'll be all for today's dish. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button. Thank you and bye.